Your mother and I have decided to get married again. What do you think about that? <laughs> Good ring, huh? <laughs> The Naked Heiress rides again. <gasps> I'm saying? There's something wrong with Put this girl. Put some clothes on. What the hell are you doing? I am selling my horse. In case you haven't heard, kind of hard up for cash. Doing. Turn that damn thing off. I said turn it off. Put this on right now. Uh, no, thank you. Do it. I am the naked heiress. I'm trying to prove a point here. Don't you guys get it? Yeah. You have proven your point, and now you're just embarrassing yourself. And oh, us. Fine. Put it on. Dang it. What the hell are you doing? Hey, man, I'm just trying to get my shot. No, you stop shooting right I'm now. I'm not stopping dude. anything, all right? This is Abby's show. I don't stop until she tells me to stop rolling. Indecent exposure, disturbing the peace, half dozen health code violations. She rode a horse into my dining room. I had customers leave. They were so upset. I apologize profusely for her outrageous behavior, and I will compensate you. But please, do not let this get to the media. No, 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 no. That is exactly why I did this, so the story would get picked Abby, up. Abby, be quiet. No, and my parents quiet. are trying to keep from me what is rightfully mine, and I want the world to know how unfair they're being. Will you be quiet? I'm trying to help you. I don't want help. I want my money, and if I have to sell everything Listen I own... Listen to me. How dare you talk to me? How dare you do this? You want to be treated like an adult? Stop throwing these tantrums. It's not a tantrum. They're are you serious? You know what? This is not a tantrum. This is a personal statement, and it's going right from my camera onto view. Your behavior is outrageous. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Uh huh. Oh. How's that? You had no right to destroy my property. Mr. Newman, I have to insist that you take this out. I understand. Thank Come you. on, Abby, let's go. No, no, Come no, no, no. On. The only way I am leaving here is by force. Abby, do you understand what you're saying right now? Yeah, I'm not an idiot, Nick. I'm not too sure about that. So far, I have spared you the humiliation of being arrested. Get out of here before I change my mind. I want to be arrested. Talk about publicity. I am driving you home right now. You guys going to arrest me or what? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, guys. I have to press charge. Hey, come on. You want the experience of going to jail? Be my guest. Try to keep me out of the papers now, Daddy. Where are you, dug your own grave. Remember that. No, no update now, but I'll let you know as soon as... Right. As soon as there's more information. Well, Ashley's gonna just love hearing that message. The Abby has been acting is almost a relief. At least she can't pull another stunt now. Are you sure you don't want to just go down to the station to be with her? She needs to learn that there are consequences to her actions. It's outrageous she consciously broke the law. I don't know, Dad. That's a little harsh. I mean, jail can be a very terrifying place when Abby's just a vulnerable young girl. Uh, I wouldn't let Abby hear you say that. After the stunt she just pulled, you can say that? She's been asking for punishment. Her wish was granted. As I was about to say before we were so rudely interrupted, your mother and I have decided to remarry again. Well, I guess that is a little anticlimactic now. Well, we will not let what happened a few minutes ago detract from our celebration, all right? So, what do you two think about this news? Uh, I think it's great. Yeah. Right, if it'll last. You're very optimistic. We should have eloped. Uh, yes. Listen, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean that the way that it sounded exactly. It's just I that certainly hope not. down this road before, and usually someone ends up getting hurt, and it's usually mom. So mm -hmm. forgive me for being concerned. Look, I was with mom when we were in Mexico the last time you disappeared, and 
they killed her. She was crushed. But that was only because I refused to give up on your father. Okay, well, I would feel a lot better if, Dad, if I knew that this was a two-way street and that you were in this for the long haul. Now, you have to know that I did not make this decision lightly. I've been thinking about this for months. And the fact that your mother is wearing the ring I gave her speaks volumes about the love that we have for each other. I'm a very lucky man. Look, um, I appreciate your concern. I really do, but... I am going into this with my eyes wide open, and I believe that it is the right thing to do. And yeah, we've we've been through a lot of trying times together, but through those, I have learned that there's no other man on earth that I would love more than this man. So. Hey, we're living together anyway. Why not make it legal? Hmm? I'm the happiest man that I've been in a long, long time. Well, Dad certainly seems sincere about wanting to make things work this time. Uh, yeah. Well, I wish him all the best, but why this time would be any different, I have you know, while they were talking, I just kept thinking about Summer. How badly I know she wishes her parents would get back together again. You know, sometimes I think the same thing about Reed. Well, God love him for trying, you know? Maybe someday I'll have that kind of faith in forever again. Raise your glasses. Oh. This is your mother. And the love that your mother and I have and have had for each other. Seemingly forever. And may this be a last wedding. Yes. <laughs> 